This man and his wife heard a loud buzzing from their house, and when they walked outside, they were astonished with what they saw. The whole side of their house was covered in bees, and they were multiplying day by day. They both had read that the bee population was on the decline, so rather than have the bees exterminated, they decided to do something else about it, something that would benefit both his family and the bees themselves. First, he picked up a couple of old used pallets. Then he disassembled the pallets, providing plenty of usable wood pieces for free. He organized the different pieces in order to maximize the recycled wood. After the pieces were organized, he cut the scraps into equal lengths and began to assemble. Some sturdy legs were needed for this project. After the legs were assembled, he cut the side pieces to length to enclose the structure. He created a V-shaped belly. He then had to construct a removable lid, no ordinary lid though, each individual piece can be removed. Then a removable roof was constructed to keep rain and wind out of the elevated box. Now that the box was constructed, it was time to take down the outside walls and see just how many bees were living in there. After removing the siding, they saw a huge bee colony with thousands and thousands of bees making honeycomb. There were layers of honeycomb. They were huge. After looking at the best way to remove them, they carefully pulled down the honeycomb, doing their best to keep it intact. They used hair clips and string to rehang the honeycombs in the new bee house. It seemed like the more honeycomb they took down, the more bees there were. As they carefully placed the honeycomb in the new bee box, the bees followed happily. The rest of the family was astounded at seeing the honeycomb up close and personal. It took almost all day, but all the honeycombs were placed hanging inside the new bee house. The bee house has openings on the bottom for the bees to enter and a protective roof to keep the elements out of the bee house. Now the bees have a safe home that these two can easily access for 100% fresh and natural honey at any time. Within just a few days, they noticed new honeycombs starting to form. The bees have plenty of room, more so than the side of their house, so they must be pretty happy. The fresh honeycomb was delicious and was formed rather quickly. Rather than kill the bees to protect their home, they created a home for the bees that they would benefit from. The bees started to reproduce with all the extra room now their colony could grow. The hair clips worked like a charm, but eventually the bees connected their honeycombs straight to the wood pieces. They were astounded with how many bees they were able to save. They hoped to continue to grow their bee colony to provide a home for more bees and more honey for them. They couldn't believe how quickly the bees adapted to their new home. What an awesome way to create a new home for some bees as well as provide yourself with some delicious honey. It's said that the bee population is on a steady decline which will affect pretty much everything down the line because there would be no bees to pollinate plants causing plants to die as well. It makes me happy to see these people take a little incentive to create a bee home rather than simply call the exterminator to come kill the bees.